In this example, we want to simplify the following indices. Let's start off with 2, a to the 4, all to the power of 3. When we have an expression like this, say 2a to the 4, to the power of 3, everything in the bracket gets raised to the power of 3. So that means we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by a to the 4 to the power of 3. Now 2 to the power of 3, or 2 cubed, means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So we can say 2 cubed is equal to 8. Now, a to the 4 to the power of 3, we need to use the result a to the m all to the power of n is equal to a to the m times n. Recall when we raise a power to another power, we multiply the two powers together. So for our example, a to the 4 to the power of 3 is a to the power of 4 times 3, which is a to the power of 12. So we say a to the 4 to the power of 3 is a to the 12. Therefore, 2a to the 4 cubed is equal to 8a to the 12. Looking at the next example, a to the power of 5 thirds times by a to the power of 2 thirds divided by a to the power of 1 third. When we have a fractional expression, we should simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator. But our denominator here is as simple as it can be. Let's take the numerator. We have a to the 5 thirds multiplied by a to the 2 thirds. And you need to remember that when we multiply powers like this, we add them. So if we have a to the m times by a to the n, we have a to the m plus n. So what we have here is a to the 5 thirds plus two thirds. And we can see that five thirds plus two thirds, well, they've got the same denominator, so we just need to add the numerators. So five plus two is seven. So we end up with seven thirds on top, and we still have our a to the one third on the bottom. As we've just said, the denominator is as simplified as it can be. So we now just need to do the division. And you need to recall when we do the division, we have say a to the m divided by a to the n, we need to subtract the powers. So we get m minus n. So for our example, a to the 7 thirds divided by a to the 1 third gives us a to the 7 thirds minus 1 third. Now again, as they have a common denominator, we only need to subtract the numerators. So we're going to end up with a, 7 minus 1 is 6, over 3. 6 over 3 is 2, so we simplify this down to a squared. We can therefore say that a to the 5 thirds times a to the 2 thirds divided by a to the 1 third simplifies down to a to the power of 2 or a squared.